Hello, welcome back to New England Industrial Machinery. And uh, this is a video demonstration of a 1979 Daewoo Ikigai tool room lathe, uh, 20 by 60 inch capacity. It's in absolutely excellent condition. Just, just phenomenal, it's, uh, it's amazing. You, you have to see it to believe it. I'll try to capture uh, the condition, but it's uh, just beautiful. Well equipped. It's got inch metric threading, 15 inch three jaw chuck, 15 inch four jaw chuck, extra jaws, extra carriage stops, Gears, uh, probably for metric range. Uh, sleeve for the spindle nose, different uh, soft jaws underneath. Looks like some kind of face plate there. And uh, a Loris type tool holder. Actually, it is an Loris. Type CA. Camlock spindle nose, uh, different uh, inserts for the uh, tool holder, uh, toolbox with miscellaneous little wrenches and things. Uh, let's see, uh, very clean on the inside. Everything is is really nice, just uh, amazing. The only flaw I see on this machine is that uh, this area here got a little damaged but it uh, still operates fine, no, no issues there. And uh, here's the uh, threading chart, both inch and metric. And uh, let's see, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, run it. It's equipped with uh, also this uh, steady rest, three point steady rest, uh, drill chuck, live center, dead center. Oh, this is a uh, two speed, uh, um, it'll either do a, a fine feed, if I can get it right, fine feed for the uh, quill, or go into a uh, fast mode one-to-one -one ratio. Just a, a nice, nice feature to have. Okay. We'll uh, start the spindle, go through some spindle speeds, and then some uh, carriage travels, cross light travels, things like that. It's also equipped with uh, this Travidial for the longitudinal feed. Let's start with low. Yeah, sure. It's also got this inching. Uh, yes. Yeah, so if you want to uh, get it into uh, gear or uh, just check rotation, you got that also. And it's equipped with coolant. So right now we're gonna do 25. 18. So you got three speeds uh, on slow <clears throat> through here. You got three speeds on medium, and then you have two speeds all done down here, uh, and it goes up to uh, 2,000 RPMs. So 18 to 2,000 RPMs. Uh, again, three, three, and two speeds in high, and then you have uh, three ranges over here. Low, medium. So you got a lot of different ranges, different speeds. It's really a well, well built machine. A true uh, Japanese uh, precision machine tool. Okay. Gearhead, of course. What is it? 380. 
fuori. That's uh, the highest at the medium range? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to go to high. All right. Uh, we're going to hit 800. Take off. <laughs> Ludicrous speed. That was uh, 2,000. And we kind of said to ourselves we weren't going to go on that range, but you got it. It just kept going. <laughs> it's a lot of power. This is 1,800? That's eight. That's 800. Oh, 800. That's where I want to go initially. Yeah, that's so smooth. That sounds nice. So if you're looking for a lathe that is super strong, well built, high tolerance, high capacity, uh, you know, this, this would be a machine for you. It's a little different from uh, say a LeBlanc or a South Bend or uh, uh, one of the other American built machines, obviously. Uh, there's some controls that uh, you'll want to get used to. Some of these features here. You want to try to describe them a little? Or? Well, you got your uh, feeds range. Each feed, each time you can get four different speeds. Plus, what do you do with the, uh, with the gear shift? With the gear shift, then you achieve another four and another four. Total is probably like 16. Yep, makes sense. Well, it's right here, matter of fact. Just turn. This one? No, no, what is this one? This one. Oh, this one? Yeah. That's your. Uh, oh, longitudinal feet. Longitudinal. Cross feet. Uh, this is uh, also equipped with a, a shield to uh, protect any chips from getting into the screws and feeds and you can uh, see uh, on this end how clean it, it really is. It doesn't have it on this end. It may have, I'm not sure, but it's, uh, it is still all clean and good condition. Right, it's not the cutting side of the chips. Yep. Uh, this handle was, st oh, that's the speed. That's speed. This one, stop and start. Yeah, stop and go. Yep. Of course, reverse is also. Spindle reverse. Actually, it's a, it says here it's a ball screw. This is a this is a this is a ball screw feed, so that's going to be super. I mean, accurate. You never see that on a lathe. That is a, that's amazing. 
back side of the machine, the chip tray, and tag for the machine. If you're familiar with Daewoo or Ikigai, you know they're well-built machines. It's just, uh, just phenomenal, a rare find to find one uh, in this condition. Uh, so that's the machine. Comes with the cart and tooling here. And what's on the machine. And what's listed on the specification sheet. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. And we'll look forward to working with you. Thank you.